guys, it's Serena from Pretty Well Things and happy 2016! I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and New Year and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got for Christmas and what I bought in the sales just after Christmas. So I'm going to jump in. I'm not going to do the whole who got me what unless it's specific to the gift just so that the video isn't me rambling about why they got it etc etc so the first thing that i got is a new duvet cover and i'm just going to show you the pillow to give you kind of a gist of what it looks like so it's got red flowers polka dots stripes gingham more flowers and then the back of it is blue with flowers as well and the duvet matches and that's from B&M. I also got two new perfumes and um, if you've been watching me for a couple of years you'll probably know that every year my dad gets me another of the Vera Wang perfumes if you can see up here behind me. I've got like a Vera Wang in pretty much every single cubby hole of this and then on this shelf I have quite a few more Vera Wangs. So this year he got me the Hippie Princess which smells absolutely gorgeous. It's so fruity and um, I have been spraying myself with this every day since. And he also got me a, another of the look, Love Struck ones. I have already used up two over the past two Christmases, past two years. So he got me a third one. And you can pick this up really cheap for about £15 in your local B&M, which um, I think is where he gets it from. And it is one of my favourite, um, if not my favourite, like daily scent. Um, I'll show you the bottle so you can see what it looks like. It's the Vera Wang Love Struck. It looks like this. It's got a little flowers on the top and then just a nice little square bottle and it smells so good. It's like the perfect day scent. Every Christmas our presents from my mum are like supposed to be Santa presents. So my mum gets us what we call a tree present and she hangs it on the tree and we have it just after we've eaten our Christmas dinner. And this year she got me this little pair of socks that are in this box and I've not worn them yet, but they're from Marks and Spencers. And um, it's just like a little bear shaped box and then I don't know if you can see, but the socks look like kind of Fair Isle print and then they've got a little um, polar bear on and I just thought they were so cute. Can't wait to wear these. I also got a new 2016 diary and I actually knew I was getting this because um, we picked this up about Four, four or five months ago and I was like mom can I have that for Christmas so she's kept it and wrapped it up for me for Christmas and it is the Kath Kidson 2016 diary and it is gorgeous like every page is patterned and it's a week per page and then you've got a whole page for notes and in the back it's got like shopping list um, recipe ideas notes um, a little dress book travel planning and I, it's just so helpful and it actually has um, like big calendar dates in as well so this has been super handy I've already written in it every day since I got it and um, it's polka dotty and it's got a little bit for kind of um, anything you want to hide in there so I am loving this diary and then I also got a Kath Kidson calendar wall calendar which I've already put up but you can see it here I'm pointing at it obviously and I just love it. I've got a little sharpie up there as well so I can like tick things off and write things on it and um, I had a flick through and all the patterns are gorgeous and the one for March which is my birthday month is like pink and floral and so pretty. Last year I got super super into sewing and crafting and just making things and um, my mum got me um, the subscription to the Molly Makes um, magazine which um, actually came with a free sewing machine which is amazing uh, so now I have two sewing machines and this magazine that is just filled with goodness and then she got me this Molly Makes Feathered Friends book which has cro crochet, knitting, sewing, felting, paper craft and more and it just is full of um, things to make and I um, just cannot wait to make things in 2016 and just try and learn new skills and sew more um, and yes so I am very very happy with this book. From my mum's partner Ian I got the Goggle Box Annual, is it an annual? It says Goggle Box, oh the Goggle Book, <laughs> Goggle Box Goggle Book, the wit and wisdom of Goggle Box because I watch it every Friday and I love Goggle Box and although it's a really strange concept like you think you're watching someone watch TV 
on TV, but it's so funny and I just love it. So I've already had a flick through this. I'm up to the letter F because it's kind of like alphabetical. And then it's got really amazing illustrations of like all the um, people who watch the shows and all the families and it's got just really good information. And here's a picture of all the families. So this is like a great coffee book as well. So it's just nice to flick through when you're a bit bored. I also got two of my first ever pieces of MAC cosmetics and I got the Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 foundation and the Studio Finish Concealer SPF 35. Unfortunately they're both in the wrong shade for me. I am NC15 which is the lightest that they do um, but the foundation is in NC40 and the concealer is in NC30 but it's no problem because I'm just going to sell these and then buy the right shade um, but I am so excited to like get the right shade and try these out because I've been wanting a matte foundation for literally years and years um, and now that the kind of matte hype has cooled down on YouTube like everyone just used to be MAC 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 and I never had anything from MAC I've had one lipstick in like my whole lifetime which got stolen in Spain so I don't even have that anymore but so excited because I've heard so many great things about this foundation and the concealer as well so thank you people who bought me these my sister and her girlfriend got me a calendar and it is a puggle calendar and they got me one last year as well or Danny did last year and I am <laughs> they're so cute I just love puggles if you don't know my dog Puka is a puggle and it's half pug and half beagle and this calendar just has gorgeous pictures of all little puppies I mean the one for March which is my birthday month how cute is that oh my god they're just so cute and the most loyal loving dog breed I think I've ever come across although I am slightly biased of course so very excited to put this and I know I've already got one a calendar up there but I'm gonna put this one on this side of my room and just like look at the puggle every month and be like oh they're so cute off my wonderful boyfriend Kenneth I got a necklace and I'm wearing it now but I will show like a close-up of what it looks like but it's by Posh Totty Designs and um I found their website quite a while ago and I just absolutely love the stuff they make. They're based in Brighton and everything is handmade and you know just you know it's made quality and with care and everything on the website is just so cute. So we looked together and I chose out this necklace. So it's a really delicate um, chain and then it's got, sorry I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder because I've not filmed in ages and I forget, I'm still doing it, and I forget how to film so it's got two hearts on it, one of them has our initials and the other one has the date um, of kind of our anniversary date, like you know the official date that everyone has um, and I just think it's so cute, I'm keeping the box because the box is cute as well, that's what the box looks like just this posh totty designs and I'll leave a link below to the shop and I will do a close up so you can see the necklace stop looking at yourself in the viewfinder Serena he also got me two phone cases because um, I'm, I did upgrade from a 5S to a 6S so I needed some new cases for my 6S which has now arrived if you would like to see a review or a video about what's on my 6S or any questions about it then let me know below um, they're both from Skinny Dip the first one is the one I've got on at the moment and it's these rockets with love hearts and glitter and I just absolutely love it and then the second one um, I just thought would be amazing for around Halloween and it sort of kind of describes me as well it's got little bats on it focus please people and then it says that shit cray and I just thought that was really funny and cute and um, yeah so I got that and then I got quite a few other cases for Christmas as well so some of these I have bought myself but I'll just throw them in anyway um, this is the case that I had on my 5s and I liked it so much that I also bought it for the 6S. So I had that on the first few days that I got my new phone uh, until I swapped it out for the Rocket one. Um, it's just cute little unicorns with glitter. And then this one I got from eBay and it's got unicorns on it again, although they don't have horns, so technically I guess they're just horses. And then it's got glitter inside it that like moves and falls and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Like who doesn't want a liquid, glittery phone case and my hair is really annoying me today so please ignore that except when I put it behind me I look like a weird nun lady so I just have to keep it at the front and let's just ignore the hair then I have two more cases and um, this one I actually bought in the pound shop and it's just black um, glitter 
shiny, shiny glitter. It's not focusing on it. Hello, there it is. It's just like black, amazing shininess. Focus. And the last one is off my aunt and her family. And it looks like this. This is from Cape Chase. And I can't remember the name of this print. It begins with a K, I think. And it's just like this matte, velvety feel black. Um, yeah, with the white and it wraps around the phone. So I have a lot of phone cases to choose from um, for my new phone. I got this little guy, which um, I'm sure some of you have also got for Christmas. And it's one of the Soap and Glory um, gift sets that they do at Christmas. What's the name of it? It just says limited edition, the Rod Nick Band looks like that and it's just like a little makeup y wash bag and I think there was three designs there was like popcorn another one and this is the one that I like the most with the little ducky on it I just thought it was super cute and it's got little diving boards and it says diving so when you open it it's full of goodies like literally full of goodies and I am a huge huge fan of Soap and Glory um, so very very excited by this first of all we have a mini righteous butter which is amazing for dry skin and it actually says for very dry skin so perfect for me that one then there is a mini of the clean on me creamy moisture shower gel and I think I might either leave this for my boyfriend's or my dad's um whatever because I've got a full sized one uh, for here then there is the soap and glory body spray and this is in the original pink scent which isn't my favourite it's quite strong um but it is still nice, but it's definitely a one spray per day kind of scent, not like because you'll get a headache, it's quite strong. But it smells quite nice, so happy to have that in my kind of perfume collection. Then there are three more minis. There's the Tiny Little Heel Genius, a Tiny Little Scrub of Your Life, which I've actually never used before, so I'm quite um, excited to try this one out. It's just a body buffer. Um, but in the shower, I think it's just like a mini exfoliator. And then there is a tiny little hand food, which is perfect handbag size and will be going in my handbag. Um, and then right at the bottom is a little free sample voucher for boots, so perfect. So staying with Soap and Glory, I also got this, which I'm sure a lot of you also got. This is the one that's like worth £75 and they put it on sale for like 30 quid in boots and it sells out like mad. Um, and I was just emailing it to my mum being like, it's on sale now, oh, I've got hiccups, it's on sale now, it's on sale now. She's like, is this a hint? I was like, no, no, of course not. And then I unwrapped it on Christmas and I was like, yes. Because um, I also got the one from last year um, and I used everything up like, like that and I just love it. So I'm just gonna undo it. I've still got the cardboard inside it so it's making the zip a bit, a bit stuck. The great thing about this case is that it's also, patterned on the inside and it has this huge zip here and I think this would be perfect for like storing nail varnishes in or um, if you're going on a big trip like abroad you could fill this with clothes like really neatly packed and then you could like stack your suitcase properly. Anyway, inside this one is full size stuff so bear with. First of all we have one of the um, Peaches and Clean amazing four in one wash off deep cleansing milk and I absolutely love this stuff I'm so so happy that this is in this box because the one I have is like down here and the pump doesn't reach it anymore so I have to like shake it out whenever I want to use it but it is an amazing amazing face cleanser um when I was using it like daily my skin was so good so I'm so glad that I got another one because my face is broken out like mad after all the like Christmas food and chocolate and everything and then we have a mother of the righteous butter, but a huge one of it. And I think I've got like five of these now in like my drawer down there. It just smells so good and it's so nice on my like elbows and knees and love it. Then we have a big version of Clean On Me um, in a nice little pump action. So this is gonna go in the shower and it's basically like um, body wash, but like in a more gel formula, if that makes any sense used it before, smells really good, makes your skin feel super clean, can't wait to use that. Then we have a big version of the hand food, a big version of the Heal Genius, 
we have the Righteous Butter Skin Tint Body Lotion, which is a instant wash off tan. And I actually already have one of these and I really liked it on my legs in the summer. Not something I'd probably use in this weather, but when it, get back, when it gets back around to summer, I will be probably using this on my legs and arms and stuff. So I never have too much instant tan. And then I've got a big version of the Scrub of Your Life. So if I like the little mini one, then I will move on to this. And finally in here, we also have a Thick and Fast Collagen Mascara and a mini one of the Sexy Mother Puckers in the shade Rose and Shine. And I've actually had this, I had to get this out of my handbag to put back in here to show you because I have been using this a lot. It's a much nicer formula. I don't know if it's because it's smaller or whatever, but I had a full size one and it made my lips tingle so bad, like it was painful. But this mini one just like is a slight tingle and honestly, I don't really need a lip plump and my lips are pretty big as they are. So I just really like the color of this and it smells like toffee and everything is just delicious. And then again, we have one of the little free sample things for boots. So that is literally everything soap and glory that I got this year. A load of stuff to get through and a load of stuff to review and try. So I'm so excited to get my bathe on with all that. So I got a little pair of socks and these are from Topshop and I don't know if you should be able to see but they are little pugs with Santa hats on and it says bar hum pug on them and <laughs> my auntie got me this just thought they were so funny. Um, little pug. I haven't worn them yet obviously because the label's still on them. Duh. Now something that I was actually sent to me by a brand but because they're not particularly wintry I wasn't sure when they'd be in a video of their own so I thought I'd just chuck them into this um, kind of haul and it is these amazing amazing sandals that actually I designed myself so I'm so it's like being a shoe designer. Basically, you go on their website, you choose the style of shoe, and then you choose the leather, the pattern, the colour. There's like four million things to choose from, and then you can customise each and every strap on the shoe. So I chose these sandals, and then I went, I don't know if you'll be able to see, I went for this pink and black leather here, and then this is a really shiny silver pink and black, silver, pink and black, pink and black, and then silver again around here. I have tried them on and I've walked around the house in them and they fit so nicely and they are such a good quality because they're handmade um, by the company, which I'm probably gonna butcher trying to say this, so I might just leave the name. Actually, no, I think I should be able to say this. k Jax, k Jax. It's not even focusing, is it? No. It, I'll leave a link to the shop below. Or you can you know see it on the shoe here but you can see everything is handmade and you can see how the shoe is like nailed together and it's really good leather and they're really like subtle subtle not subtle what's the word supple supple leather and you know that you know once you've worn them a few times they're just gonna like get to know the shape of your feet and they're gonna be so comfortable and because I um my feet aren't growing anymore I'm a size six for life I know that these are gonna last me a long time and way into my adulthood, maybe even my elder generation hood. Um, so yes, not very wintry, not very Christmassy, but I thought I'd show them in this video just so that I don't forget to show you them because they are amazing. I'll leave a link below to where you can um, purchase some for yourself or a friend or a relative, you know. People like custom things and I just think this is a really cool, they do heels and wedges and so many different things that you can customise, so love these. So the next thing is this pink, is it pink? It said it was peach on the website but I think it's just light pink and it's a really soft cashmere jumper. This is from Moon Cats, it was sent to me just before Christmas and I absolutely love it, it's so soft and I got this in an extra large I think. Um, but it's the perfect size and I'm just wearing it with leggings but it's a really like slouchy comfy pink jumper oh my god the lighting the lighting I'm sat on a box now <laughs> so yeah I just thought I'd show you this jumper as well because it's so squishy and comfy I'll leave a link below, below to that as well I just zoomed in a bit hopefully the lighting is a little bit better but bear with so that is everything that I kind of got for Christmas and all that I also got one thing which was I think was my favorite present I've got my hair and it's annoying me where are you from go back home 
So one thing that I can't show you because it is on the dryer downstairs, I think may have been my favourite gift of the whole of Christmas and I'll insert a picture of it here or maybe I'll just pretend to hold it. Does this work? I got this cardigan from Kath Kidson. Um, I just absolutely love it. Um, am I even holding it? Hopefully my editing skills are better than I anticipate. Maybe I'll just let it float. Um, yes, this cardigan came out last Christmas and I absolutely loved it, but it was £175 and I was like, no way. Never would I ever spend that much money on a cardigan or expect my family to spend that much money on a cardigan. So it was just kind of like wishful thinking, maybe mum can knit me something similar. And then I unwrapped it this Christmas and I was like, where did you find this? And I, she didn't tell me where she got it. I don't know if she got it on eBay or something like that. But um, wow, it's like brand new, so squishy and comfy. I wore it like five days in a row after I got it and then I spilled some toothpaste on it. So that's why it's in the wash and I can't wear it or show it to you today because if it wasn't in the wash, I would probably be wearing it still. But this is what it looks like if it's still on screen and it's so gorgeous and pretty and I love it so much. So thank you, thank you mother, thank you. So that's everything that I kind of got given for Christmas and now I'm going to show you some things that I bought in the sale and stuff like that. Um, first of all, I got a new watch and um, I know it's going to be upside down to you because I'm holding my wrist the wrong way, but it is a Oasis watch and it's rose gold and I got this from Lipsy, it was £45 but I had a, I won a £50 gift card um, for doing a blog competition and um, yeah, so I bought this watch with it, I know it's not in focus. Um, and yeah, I just love it. I had to get a link taken out for it to fit, but I'm now wearing it and I'm not used to having a watch that ticks because the last watch that I had on for the last three years was digital. So I keep thinking, what's that noise? Oh yeah, it's my watch. So I've been loving that. Then let's move on to this box of goodies. And again, I won a 30 pound voucher for .com gift shop. So I was waiting until their kind of like Christmas sale started so I could get more things because I'm savvy like that. And you may see a kind of pattern of theme when I dive in here, but I think we know by now that I am obsessed with floral and everything like that. So the first thing that I got, oh, it's quite heavy, is this set of five glass bowls. And I guess I'll show you the back because it shows the bowls. It's got five bowls that kind of go into each other that fit, can like fit inside each other and each one comes with a little plastic lid with flowers all over it and I thought this would be good for picnics or just like in the future when I move out and just buying things that I really like and yeah that was £12.99 not on sale but um, I just really liked them and then everything else I got was on sale so I got two of this pattern which is a tea towel so I got two tea towels because they were on sale for a pound each which I think is a bargain and then I got one of their jumbo shopping bags but they're actually like storage bags I've got three in my room already in different patterns and um, I've got one full of like bedding one full of sewing and crafting supplies and one just full of that stuff in your room where you don't know where to put it so um, you can never have enough of these and this was on sale for £1.95 and they are so so handy so um, yeah picked up another one then I picked up one of their um, shopping bags and I find these really handy when I need to nip into town or when we go food shopping because of the whole five people bag thing. These bags are really, really sturdy. Um, I've got about four of these already, but this was on sale for £1.95. So um, I just picked up another one. They're really, really strong. And they've got a nice length strap so you can like put it over your shoulder or whatever. And then the last thing that I got, I'd actually been wanting for quite a while from there, but get it out. So the last, the last thing that I got is actually something that I've been wanting for quite a while from there and it was, I think it was 29 99 but then in the sale it was down to like 9 99 and I was like yes I'm grabbing that while I can and it is in this pattern again and it's a weekend bag. It looks quite small at the moment because it's all kind of crumpled and it hasn't got anything in it but um, it's like oil cloth wipeable fabric and then it's got quite nice handles, it's got um, no pockets on the outside but it's got a big inside area which is red with polka dots, gorgeous, a nice zip pocket on this side and then a couple of like phone or bobble, what well, I put my bobbles and stuff in pockets there and I just thought this would be really handy if I kind of spread it out, you can see it's quite big inside. Um, 
and I have been using a rucksack to kind of carry my clothes to my boyfriend's because I've got to go on the train but a rucksack I find quite I don't know like big and bulky on my back I prefer to carry something so I just thought this would be big enough to just chuck some clothes in a wash bag and just like carry that with me on the train I get quite paranoid about like being mugged or someone trying to steal my bags so when I'm sat on the train I can't really relax I have to, I feel like I have to hold on to every single strap of like every bag that I've got with me but with this because it's not a rucksack I can put the bag down next to me and put my just keep my arm through it rather than like trying to hold on to one of the straps if you know what I mean so yes I got that and I think it's gonna be a really nice little weekend bag although usually I go mad in the January sales the boxing day sales and that's kind of the time when I like buy new clothes or buy things that I've been wanting for ages while they're on sale and um, because literally about 98% of my wardrobe is sale clothing um, but I actually didn't buy any clothes this year I only bought a couple of things I've got hiccups <laughs> I only bought a couple of things and I actually got them from Boots and I couldn't go sale shopping until the 29th of December so you can guess that pretty much everything in Boots was already gone and everything Serve and Glory had already gone which was kind of what I wanted but never mind I caught I caught I got a few things so I was super excited to see that a lot of the um, Fifi Le Pin stuff was still there um, I don't know why because the stuff is gorgeous but I picked up this really cute little travel mug and this was down to four pounds and I really like that it is very very lightweight um, the one I have at the moment is ceramic so it's really quite heavy and then the lid on this is plastic and it screws on which I think is really handy because the other one again that is ceramic that I have the top is just rubber and it just pops on and I don't trust it to not fall off whereas this one literally the lid can't come off because it's screwed on and it's a gorgeous colour and then it's got polka dots and little illustrations all around it and I've been a huge huge fan of Fifi um I don't know how to say her last name is it La Fan or La Pin? Fifi La Pin? Fifi Le Pan, I don't know, um, way before I even knew that she was like an illustration I just saw pictures of her around like back in my space days and I really liked her so yes I got that. And then I also picked up the Fifi Le Pin, Fifi Le Pan, Le Pan, Le Pin um, <laughs> notebook and this was on sale for £5 and it's just got all the little illustrations, really cute Benny on the front and um, it's just lined and it says Fifi Le Pen on each page and I am obsessed with stationery and notebooks as I think most of the world is because who doesn't love a nice fresh notebook even though I already have about eight back there, two on my side table, you can never have too many. Speaking of, <laughs> the next thing that I got, I got in TK Maxx and I was looking for kind of like props and just pretty things that I can use in photography on my blog and I came across this notebook it's white with black polka dots and then it says notebook on the front in this like little gilded gold bit and then inside it's a really gorgeous pale pink I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera but it's like a lilac pink and then the pages are actually lined with pink instead of black which I just think is so cute and then it also has the little um, ribbon thing so you can you know keep up with where you are and I've taken the label off this so I can't remember how much it was I think I, I think it was in the clearance section for four pounds and I just thought yeah that's gonna be a really nice little um, prop and stuff for pictures and also, also to write in so the last I know it's not the last thing second to last thing that I got in the sales I just said I didn't buy any clothing I completely forgot I bought this this was in the sale for one pound fifty down from six pounds and um, I saw it as soon as we walked into uh, Matalan. It's just a white t-shirt with a huge S on the front. And so I was like, my name begins with an S. I need a t-shirt with an S on it. So I just bought that for £1.50. I'll probably just wear it to bed or something. And the very last thing that I picked up is on my dressing table, which is why I nearly forgot to show you. And this is also from the Boots sale. And it was down from 16 to 8 and is this gorgeous desk tidy so it's got a little drawer at the front which I've got all my concealers in I don't want to tilt it too much it's got all my concealers and lip balms in 
and then this back section here I've put my daily brushes of what I use I've got a moisturizer moisturizers in this side and my mascaras in this section here I've got cheek products so blusher powder and my bronzer and then in this side I've got my um, eyebrow palette and a little highlighter and this just sits on the front of my desk so that I can just grab what I use daily just like instead of opening all my drawers because I had everything kind of spread about and now it's just in one place so I love that that is everything that I bought was given and um, yes I hope you had an amazing Christmas let me know below what your favorite gift was and, and I will see you in my next video bye guys